this is Jesus continuing. So I walked this earth and I did all these practical examples of who I am and who the beings are and I informed them, make notes, write, um, ask questions and many of course were interested in me because I um, represented who they are which they didn't see or accept or realize within themselves and I was fascinating, I was beyond belief and um, see what I did not see what I did not understand, firstly, was I didn't see Anu's mind, consciousness, systems, or even plan of enslavement for humanity at that time. Uh, what I saw in human beings as myself. I saw myself, and as I spoke to them, as my equals, as one with me. With some simple words. And you know, I showed them that when you realize that you're not of this world or defined by this world, you're free in this world. Um, you're not defined by the limitations of this world. Because if you define yourself of this world, you're defined by the limitations of what this world consists of. It is simple. And I truly believed at that time that they were merely lost in ideas. Um, about themselves, about this world, they got lost inside the pictures of what they see of this world. And, you know, I could kind of see where this world is going to go if, you know, I didn't step in immediately. And so I realized I'm not able to stay here on Earth infinitely and show all the human beings on Earth, you know, who I am as equal and one with them. So I gathered followers, it's called disciples, or referred to as disciples in the Bible, but even there, the word disciples, you're able to say a disciple sounds like disciplines, disciplinaries, if you want to put it from that perspective, but even in that lies the code of following and not uh, applying, living, practicing. So from my perspective, the Bible, in terms of the disciples merely following, not applying, living, becoming one and equal with me, is also not a deceptive point in what the Bible describes of what really happened. I did inform the twelve beings of what they're required to do. I walked with them, as them. They viewed what I did, they practiced what I did, um, they spoke what I did, I showed them everything, all of me equal and one with them, told them write it down, practice it, apply it, live it, same principles, because I realized if they don't do that, nothing will change. How else did they get to where they had become through application, living, practice, belief, ideas, etc.? To just transform that to a different way of living, applying, practicing, and expressing, and there you have a transformed being. Um, now, what is interesting, what I find from existed then and even now, is the point where if someone actually stands up in this world, if we look through the ages, and if one being or a few but stands up and actually speaks the truth, actually speaks of the true expression of human beings, why? Because they've seen it. They've actually applied it themselves, they've lived it themselves, they express it themselves. Human beings. Beings are unable to actually speak words that they haven't first applied, expressed and lived as themselves. They're able to see it, hear it. And what is interesting is that such beings immediately get attacked by the entire world. It is fascinating even by myself then. What did I stand for? I stand for equality and oneness. Beings realizing that they're one and equal with me. But what happened? But most of the world turned against me, calling me um, of deception, um, calling me a lie, etc. But what's interesting is that everything is in reverse, always. Because what did I represent? And what do beings say to me that is actually reflected to them? That they're deception, that they're lying, that they're not honest with themselves, etc. It is simple. But beings don't see that. They don't realize that 
whatever you're really seeing in another, you're actually seeing in yourself. It is so simple. And it is simply undeniable, and it's even existed when I was here. And what I found was beings couldn't hear me. They didn't hear the words I spoke. They completely, I'd speak the words, and once the words were spoken, it was completely twisted around, reversed. And, you know, it extensively confused me because sometimes I had to repeat certain sentences, certain expressions over and over again, and sometimes I required to actually show it to them practically as a manifestation of, them, of myself for them to first understand it. My intention was never to become a being to worship, um, though my experience here on earth was completely misconstrued by the white light, of course. Um, most of the stories in the Bible was designed by other beings of the white light um, who manifested as human beings for a moment, even you know, even the time that I was crucified, uh, where there were dimensional beings who'd come and twist the entire, my entire expression around to a form of a belief. So I basically prepared the way for Anu in his design to become a worshipped god in this world, and of this world, of humanity, um, without me actually being aware of it. And so he twisted and turned my words around, and thus, and not only in during that time, but also later beings that existed in this world, that, you know, the twisted words around, completely twisted and placed in stories within the Bible that, you know, occurred during various times when, when I was not even present. Um, so the book of the Bible is... Uh, utter manifestation of deception, really. As I said, everything is in reverse. The Bible seen as truth is actually the Bible of deception. It's a representation of Anu's manifestation of separation equaling enslavement. And yes, I did when I died on the cross and I was crucified specifically allowed them to do that, you know, um, firstly it was for me in terms of proving to myself, you know, and to everyone else that they're able to, to actually see what they're doing, what were they actually showing themselves there, that they were crucifying themselves as a true expression of who they are, which I represented and the crucifixion of human beings as themselves have continued for eons of time. Thank you very much. This is Jesus.